right, welcome back. Let's bring in Mike Apple standing by where it's like uh, earnings week for all the big giants. Mike, good morning to you. Could, could they have spread it out a little bit? Just it would have been I nice. Mean, <laughs> you oh. got a lot. It, yeah, we're, we're overwhelmed, basically, with the uh, the numbers coming in from the world's biggest companies, most valuable uh, tech giants, Apple, Microsoft, uh, Alphabet, all reporting results after the close of trade last night. And the numbers, Melanie, are indicative and the reason why these are the world's most valuable companies right now and their share prices have gone up, uh, you know, doubled over the past year. It's basically their world and we're just living in it. <laughs> uh, Apple made get this 21 billion dollars in profit it's not even sell that 80 billion plus in sales 21 billion in profit iphone sales the iphone 12 is popular uh sales jumped 50 percent to uh about 39 billion dollars or thereabouts and uh, it's interesting the share price of apple is actually down this morning two percent because tim cook the ceo warned that uh the global computer chip shortage might actually hurt their earnings going forward, so we'll see. Um, Alphabet, the parent company of Google, saw earnings of $18 billion ad sales at uh, Google on the rise. Kel surprise. And um, Microsoft made $16 billion. These are just profits, not sales, profits. It's, it's remarkable how these uh, companies raked in so much money. Uh, Microsoft, of course, has massive cloud computing on top of... Um, uh, Windows and Xbox sales, all of these things all add up to the bottom line. So, yeah, it uh, would have been nice to spread these out a little bit, but that's maybe. okay. <laughs> and maybe just collective, collectively. I mean, it's just, you know, $60 billion in earnings or thereabouts for these companies uh, all in. Pretty incredible. Uh, okay, yeah. a story that we were following yesterday, and obviously it's going to have a lot of impact in the weeks to come. August 9th is the date where fully vaccinated Americans are set to be able to, to come across the land borders here into Canada. Something could be holding them up. And yeah, possible strike by uh, Canada border security agents who haven't been without have been without a contract actually for three years. Contract talks are pretty much at a stalemate. The uh, federal government saying uh, we'll like to negotiate and get things settled before uh, we have a, a, a more reopened border. But I'm, I'm thinking about this going, um, would they have to? The border security is an essential service. Yes. Right. So do they have to subsequently? recall parliament if there's back to work legislation or something of this nature there are a lot of uh, uh twists and turns potentially to come here um for you know the trudeau government which is you know also talking about or the speculation is we could have a snap election call uh middle of next month so this is going to be interesting but i mean let's let's not underplay the fact that uh this could hit international not just uh, travel for uh tourism uh but also trade because this mm -hmm. would tie up potentially all of the uh, parcel service coming uh, cross border and all of that uh, at the border. You could have massive lineups. That is a great point. Um, okay, mm -hmm. as we look to the U.S., uh, there are various Delta hotspots, as there are in Canada mm -hmm. as well. Um, but places like Las Vegas, Orlando, a lot of places that people like to visit, they yeah. don't seem too worried. It was interesting yesterday to see the market reaction to these reports out of Las Vegas specifically, where, of course, you've got casinos, people indoors, it's hot, and, you know, gathered in, in uh, tighter spaces, uh, mask mandates, not so much. Vaccination rates are pretty low when people come from all, all over the place to Vegas, right? Um, and I thought, okay, what are the casino operators going to see from a market perspective? Not much of anything. I, I, initially, there was a little bit of a drop, but then everything stabilized. You're looking at uh, Disney uh, and Orlando, um, Orlando, Orange County, are looking at, uh, uh, you know, uh, big increases in COVID cases. But again, the tourism sector is going to be really interesting here, Melanie, because, you know, we keep talking about potential economic slowdowns as COVID cases rise in certain areas. Do they have that much of an impact or do, are people just kind of carrying on, carrying on? I don't know. It's it's, but it's certainly something to watch. And, uh, you know, it's always interesting that Florida is such a travel destination in the summertime. Right. Yeah. Mm, okay, finally for you, <laughs> Delta Airlines looking for yeah. a little bit of help. 5,000 uh, help wanted uh, at Delta. And this is just in part and parcel of what uh, uh, the American carriers have been talking about here. American Airlines is uh, looking for new pilots, a thousand new pilots by next year. So the U.S. travel industry has certainly bounced back and the aviation sector has been uh, at the forefront of that. 
But, um, you know, we're still, you know, here in Canada, it's a very different story, obviously. But, uh, you know, I talked about possibly a, a the United States in general is seeing a worker shortage in various sectors, and the airline industry is not immune to that. And uh, it might be, uh, you know, if it, we've seen such a transition, I guess, in so many sectors of the economy because it was shut down. People have left the industry now coming back. And, of course, a lot of these are highly skilled individuals. And uh, Delta wants to hire a whole bunch of people. Wow. All right. Mike Apple, as always, appreciate your time. We'll see you on Thursday morning. Almost there, there Mike. Almost there. See you later. <laughs> You got it. 618 is what we're sitting at right now. Coming up next, we're all waiting for that full return to school plan. Meantime, Ontario's top doctor says some rules will be different for students and staff who are vaccinated. Details straight up.